is the 21st century. We, as a civilization, have made significant progress in many branches of science. We are launching multi-ton ships into space. We are plunging into the depths of the ocean. But, paradoxically, we still do not understand what attention is. Although today it is already clear that some experiments in physics, such as the experiment with two slits, cannot be explained without introducing such a concept as an observer who possesses the power of attention. It seems to be such an important question which is, however, not covered anywhere, but it is not so. If we look into the essence of any religion, we'll see that they all teach how to properly distribute attention. In Christianity, the investment of attention is called an inner doing, and the main point of prayer is the perfect mastery of attention. It is also mentioned that the soul of prayer is attention. As the body without the soul is dead, so prayer without attention is dead. The greatest love is not to take our attention away from God, who dwells in our heart. Simeon the Athenite. Attention to your inner learning is love to God. It is to always have Christ in your mind and heart, even if you are engaged in other things. Saint Perfurius the Kafsikalevite. In Islam, there is such a notion as zikr, it is everlasting mentioning of Allah, God. In other words, it is directing your attention to Allah, concentrating your attention at Him. The prayer that is performed without hudur and with a heart distracted from Allah is like a body that has lost its spirit, the inducement to heed the call of the Quran, 156. In Zoroastrianism it is said, Him thou shouldst Seek to win for us by hymns of adoration in thy mind. Now indeed have I seen it with mine eye, the kingdom of the good spirit and of good action and word, since I have learned to know Mazda Ahura through right. Let us offer him homage in the house of song, heaven. Avesta, sacred liturgy and Gathas, hymns of Zarathustra. Hymn 10, Yasna 45, verse 8, Zoroastrianism. So why, having such a huge power, a person does not use it and has no idea that it exists? Because every time the messengers from the spiritual world and the prophets restored the truth by explaining to people that their real power is the power of attention, but this knowledge was distorted. Important understandings about the control of the power of attention were obscured, and the enemies of the human race were tricked into using that power for themselves. People were unaware of that. Moreover, there is a guardian within a human. It's the true enemy of a human being. It's the one who constantly steals his power with thoughts and images in his head, they distract and do not let a human focus on the goal. This is also mentioned in all religions. In Christianity, thoughts are called demons. In Islam, they are called genes. In prayer, a person should be firm, stand bravely and avoid any side thoughts, either about his virtues or about his sins. An ascetic must be very careful not to fall into the net of Satan, the accuser, and not to destroy all his achievements by agreeing with the devil's treacherous suggestions. Elder Joseph Vatapadi. Thoughts are your thieves, stealing salvation from you. Watch your mind carefully, and you will force these thieves to flee, as they are afraid of attentive prayer. Simeon the Athenite. Abu Hamid Muhammad al Tusi al Ghazali, in his book, Ihyaulum ad Din, Right. Nothing distracts the heart from your prayer except thoughts that come to take the attention of the heart away from it. The healing remedy for bringing the heart into a state of hudur is the rejection of those thoughts. Empty thoughts exhaust the soul. 
Archimandrite Andreas Conanus. On leaving the thought maze, take up the careful praying. Make your prayer practice a non-stop one. Don't divide time into day and night and you will gain attention in praying. Work diligently and pray attentively. Learn to see every thought and you will see its treachery. Simeon the Athenite He is very devious and cunning and to achieve his insidious goals he uses those thoughts, topics and concerns that particularly disturb us. Don't pay any attention to thoughts, but pay all your attention to Christ, who dwells in your heart. Simeon the Athenite Every moment of our lives we waste a lot of power of attention without even noticing it. The main theft of attention occurs at the inner level, in the mind of a person, when he pays attention to thoughts and images. Almost constantly in the illusions of the material world, a person does not even live for real, and he wastes his life force into emptiness, acquiring neither material values nor spiritual ones. In fact, he loses twice. You are a human. Your primary power is attention. The right to choose is sacred. Live consciously.